Hey guys, I'm just waiting to go out on my next bus, uh, 47, going up to Shoreditch. Um, wanted to say, wanted to talk about um, assault, assault screens, the assault screens that the bus drivers have. Um, I know a little bit about why we have it, assault screens when it started and uh, the pro I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons also of having a screen is there any cons obviously there's pros because it protects us from being attacked by actual passengers um, I've been in 10 years I've been physically attacked twice well the person that was doing the attack it didn't actually get to me because of the assault screen obviously but i remember this guy um he came on a bus and i think he had a a train ticket and uh i said to him uh sir could i look at i always i'm always quite polite i said to him uh, i said sir or excuse me something like that i, I called him back can i look at your your ticket again Hey mate, can you um, show me your ticket again, please? Or your pass. But it wasn't, it was a ticket, it was a card a ticket. And uh, instead of him showing it to me, he got so upset, he got so upset that he had to leave the bus. I didn't tell him to leave the bus, mind you. I just said, I just said can I look at your ticket? I didn't tell him to leave the bus, but he just punched the screens. <laughs> hard I thought he was gonna break that was I think would have been the first time or second time that somebody attempted to or got angry I'm not saying he was gonna assault me he probably just got wanted to take it out on the screen and the other time was a guy in that got on at Peckham he asked me Peckham in uh, South is it South East London South he got on and he, he asked me um, if I could tell him how to get to a place called Broccoli. Um, I told him what bus he should get at New Cross, one of the changing points. And um, I noticed he had a ticket similar to the other guy, a train ticket. The train tickets, they look a bit like a travel pass that we have here in London. So they have two orange bands at the top. So the train tickets have a similar look some people they flash it at you so they can get past thinking that you trying to make out that they've got a pass um, like a travel card one day or a, a weekly or monthly or even a yearly and so this guy I noticed he had that in his hand so I looked at it and I thought you know what I'm not gonna even bother calling back so he sat down but for some reason he noticed that he noticed that I saw his dodgy pass or dodgy ticket and he was just there talking about me you know saying stuff about me I won't go into what he said about me but he was swearing and so forth and I could have done a code red I just thought let me just take let me just drive the bus and forget about him anyway anyway when we got to um Lucian he was he was going on a bit too rude and I said I'm going to do a code red he kind of quieted down he didn't say nothing after that but then as he walked off the bus he walked instead of going at the exit door he walked um, past me and he had a can of lager in his hands, which I didn't realize that he was even drinking. And he just threw it. He just threw it. Well, he didn't throw well, it. He just threw the contents of the tin over the over the, the protective visor that we have to protect us. But there's because of the holes was there, the actual fluid or the lager went into the... Um, through the holes onto my trousers and then he just jumped off the bus never saw him again ever never saw him that was the first time i saw him and it was the last time i've ever see, seen him so that's two of my two of my experiences with at, you know the salt screen obviously but if salt screen wasn't there he probably would have attacked me that guy the way he was carrying on yes yeah, so i remember when these screens was fitted i was actually the engineer at um south norwood uh bus garage in london and um i was an electrician and it was one of those things that it came about 
the reason why it came about that we had to fix screens is that because uh, because there was a I think increase in um, people being bus drivers being hurt and attacked there was one driver in my garage uh, somebody broke a, a, a beer glass of, you know coming out of the pub um, coming out of the pub they had an argument with the driver and smashed it in his face and that was quite a serious injury so um, they decided to do the screens but the screens was actually in United Kingdom already but it was only in a place called Glasgow in Scotland because uh, Glasgow was at that time or I don't know whether it still is the most violent city in the whole of Europe when it comes to that kind of violence and so that's why yeah, my man. <laughs> so that's why um, so that's why they did that um, they had assault screens in Scotland and so we we had to fit these all the engineers every engineer that wanted the overtime was able to fit these even though I was an electrician we, it took us a whole weekend to do over 200 buses we just fit these screens it was a nice bit of overtime so that's how that's how they um, that's that's one of the reasons why they came about because it was an idea that I had in Scotland and it was problems was increasing here in London and anyway the one of the, the cons I think of having a screen is that it cuts the passengers off from the driver as you can see we're behind this thing um, I know some drivers love it they love it the fact <laughs> they love it that they could actually just be sealed off away from the passengers but the thing is, um, years ago when we had the route masters, that the drivers didn't have to mingle with passengers, and that was their that was just their job to be a bus driver and the conductor dealt with the passengers. But the, the drivers that when these buses came about, then they had single man drive single man bus, single man bus or single operator bus. Um, they was trained to deal with the passengers, my man. It's trained to deal with the passengers, and they was paid for that. So when you became a driver on one of these buses, you got more money. So we are actually paid to mingle with the passengers and to communicate with them, to ask us a question, whatever. Obviously, not, you're not there to have a conversation with them, but to have communication with them if they ask you a question. And so, but with this screen, all that becomes difficult because since we had the COVID, they've sealed the holes where we talk. They sealed the holes. Let me show you. So the holes have this this sticky thing on it. So you can't you can't put your finger through there now. And so if we think about basic science, a sound wave, only a certain amount of sound waves can get through there. A certain frequency it's usually a lower frequency the higher frequency wave which is where we talk we talk at a higher frequency it doesn't get through so that's how the person has to shout or the person has to you know the passenger would know to, to speak louder they're not going to think to speak louder you know what i mean and so that's so that's one of the big problems but other than that and i, I spoke about that on my last video in this country another thing to say is that it's only in london and a few other cities where you have actual assault screens there are some places just outside london that hasn't got no assault screens and there is places up north and different places like that um i suppose it all depends on the level of level of um, assaults and so forth um when when there isn't a assault screen one of the one of the other pros is that I think the driver and the passengers can communicate much easier and I think there is um, there is more likely to be interaction um, because obviously even if the bus driver is whispering the passenger would notice, notice them talking and uh, I think also the bus drivers um, probably would use their words more carefully what do I mean by that? Sometimes you hear stuff in the canteen and you hear, or you hear people say certain things. Or you see certain videos online of bus drivers literally cursing people. You know, 
sorry to say I have to I have to talk about my fellow drivers but there is some drivers out there that they just lose it and they customer service gets thrown out the window